Welcome back. My name is Les Tokar. I am the managing editor of the SSD Review. And this morning we're going to do a quick walkthrough uh, of Windows to Go, a uh, component of Windows 8 Enterprise using the Super Talent USB 3.0 Express RC8 in a 100 gigabyte capacity. Um, the most important thing we've got it hooked up right now into a USB 3 slot of our system. The most important thing is to ensure when you're starting your system that you boot directly to a, um, uh, the USB. So we're using the Asus P8Z77 Premium uh, motherboard where we just continuously hit F8 until the boot screen pops up and then we can move down to the STT Express RC8 installation. Uh, and we can get it going here. It's going to take a while for the initial setup. We'll, we'll still time it in any case and we'll walk you through things. But here we go. First time taking a look at uh, Windows 8, Windows to go uh, for the first time. The first time you set up uh, Windows to go in any environment, It's going to give you the option of pick the color screen you want. We'll stay with it. We'll stay with the blue. Uh, pick up the pick the uh, typical PC name you're going to use. So let's uh, let's use our favorite one here, of course. So there we go. And hit next. <coughs> Express settings all uh, will set you up automatically. You can tell right off the bat it's checking the screen uh, quality to use. And you'll also notice in this case that I'm using a dual monitor and you'll see why in a bit. Uh, it's going to ask you to, to, to enter your name and password. And a password hint. And so we're finalizing our settings. It should take a few seconds here. Hi. The um, thing we need to understand with, it, with Windows to go, the first time we put it into any system, it is going to download the drivers automatically for that system. Um, and it's going to store them on the Windows to go drive itself. It might take a few minutes initially to set up your system correctly on that drive for the corporate environment. That's nothing. However, down the road, every time you replug that USB into the system, you'll find that right off the bat, uh, it'll boot. It'll boot much faster, and we'll demonstrate that in a second. Uh, and as you see, you get the warning: um, keep the USB drive plugged in. Only remove remove it after your PC is shut down completely. Otherwise, your Windows to go workspace might crash and you could lose data. You have, if you accidentally unplug it, 60 seconds and you'll be fine no matter what. You won't lose any data. <coughs> uh, we can close this. And I can tell you right off, although I'm not a fan uh, of a lot of things of Windows to 8, something I do uh, appreciate is the fact that when I'm using a dual monitor setup as we are today, uh, we have uh, we have on the uh, left we have our windows to uh, our, our, our typical windows screen that we might see in windows 7 because whether anybody believes that there's really that not, there's, there's really not that much difference between windows 7 and windows 8 uh, on the back end of it and then we have the metro screen on the right we can uh, personalize and move the uh, correction we can change the screens around so oh, it's been a long morning here So that way, uh, apply. So now I'm actually see the, move, the mouse moves back and forth. Uh, so and get back to our Metro screen. So um, in a nutshell, there you have it. It really didn't take as long as I thought it would, uh, but there's Windows to go all set up. Um, from the Windows to go drive, our next demonstration, we will 
show you how fast it actually starts. Uh, thank you very much.